and welcome back to my channel. I am Bex, I'm a personal trainer and I play golf of a handicap of two. Now if you join us for the first time, welcome. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. If we're talking golf in terms, it's like getting a birdie. Well actually, it's better, it's like getting an eagle. So yeah. Now I did a very, very similar video of this the other day. It was targeted at beginners, so I'll link that up here. And again, it was working on leg strength and core strength, okay? Two fundamental parts of achieving a really powerful golf swing. Now today, it's gonna to be more advanced. Again, you don't need any equipment. However, if you do wanna make it more challenging, you can use some dumbbells. And if you don't have any dumbbells, why not grab yourself some like a bottle of water? This is my big lad, my two liter bottle. And yeah, you're good to go. So guys, before we start, we are gonna do a quick three minute warm up. We're gonna do six exercises for 30 seconds on. We're gonna start off with high knees, okay? So if you are upstairs and you don't wanna to make too much noise, you can just do a high knee march. If not, noise isn't an issue. I can do high knees on this spot. Right, off we go, 30 seconds. So you can lift that knee as high as you can and drive those arms as well. So keep belly button in. You'll get away with that core at the same time. Right, we've got 10 seconds. Keep you lifting that knee. Well done. Three, two, and one. Right, we're going to go knee to elbow. Get a really good twist. Try and get that elbow beyond the knee. If you can. important that we do warm up before we do any exercise. Okay, right, we've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. So we're going to start them. So if you are upstairs, be nice and light on your feet. Right, 15 seconds left. And I promise there's no more jumping. But this is a nice one. It's really elevate our heart rate. Three, two, and one. Okay, and then we're going to some squats. So we get nice and low. Feet shoulder width apart. Really push that bum back. This is a warm up. Let's go for speed. Getting as many as we can. Really push that bum back. Keep looking forward. Three, two, and one. Right. You want the hamstrings. So on the spot, you want to lift your leg. Kick it out, okay? Lift the knee. Extend. If you want. Keep throwing the stick. Pretend you're on Broadway. Doing the can can. Three, two, and one. Right, last one. We're going to plant position. And then go elbow to knee. Knee to elbow, okay? exercises 45 seconds on and a 15 second recovery okay so I'll talk you through each one and yeah we're ready to go right our first exercise is going to be a forward and a reverse lunge with a rotation so we're going to go forward get as low as we can and twist over the bent leg we're then going to go into the reverse lunge get as low as we can and twist again over that bent leg so we should be rotating in two opposite directions on this one now you'll see, I'm using my putter. If you've got your golf clubs in the house, choose any club and just hold it straight out in front of you. Right, we're gonna go in eight seconds. 
seconds. This is exercise number one of 18. So we're going on our right leg. Work. Off we go. So lunge, rotate, push back, and rotate. Okay, we focus on that rotation. Keep your core nice and tight by sucking the belly button in. So keep on getting as low as you can on that lunge. Whoop. I'm gonna make sure the knee doesn't cross the toes. So really sink into that first leg. Five seconds. Rest. Okay. Got 15 seconds of coffee now. We're gonna repeat that on our left leg, okay? So the same points, get nice and low, get a nice big twist. Off we go. Work. So rotate over that bent leg. Next one. So 
can use your dumbbell if you've got one or get your big bottle of water. I'm going to keep my feet in the air and get a nice rotation side to side. Work. Off we go. So on this one, you want to focus on keeping your chest facing forward. Okay, but really try and get the biggest rotation you can. Try and keep your feet nice and still. Again, suck that belly button in. So if you imagine the rotation here, like the back swing and the follow through, really get a good range of movement. Well rest. Good. Take a rest. The next one. So you can either do a squat or you can do a squat jump. So I might cave the roof in. So I'm going to do a squat. I've got a 15 kilogram dumbbell. So I'm going to use that to make it more challenging. I've got my feet wide and shoulder width apart. My toes are pointing out. Coming down nice and slow. Up, nice and quick and powerful, okay? Squeeze that bum at the top. I'll turn to the side. So down, squeeze. Squeeze. Well done. Push that bum back. So slow the way down. Quick on the way up. Well done. Rest. Right, we've got two more. I'm going to do a deadlift now. Again, we've got a dumbbell. You can use it. Whew. This on our left. Imagine taking the ball out of the hole. You're going to bend down. Like so, okay? This is the target. Our left hand glute and hamstring. So you should have the weight in your right hand and your right leg going back. Keep a slight bend. In that left leg, this is really going to challenge our balance as well. If you are struggling, feel free to hold on to a wall. Rest. Well done. I'm going to repeat that on our other side now. I'm going to have the weight in my left, in my left leg going back. And one. Work. Okay. So imagine taking the ball out of the hole. This is really working on your balance, your core stability, and your leg strength, okay? Excellent. You want to really feel like you're tipping forward from the hip. Rest. Right, great stuff. That is first nine complete, okay? So now onto the back nine. I'm going to go back into that lunge on our right side. So get your foot. Work. Your right leg's going forward. Rotate. Right leg goes backward. Rotate over the bent leg. Come on. Halfway through. We're on the back line. Oh, we're under par. Come on, let's keep this up. I don't know about you guys. I've got a bit of a sweat on. Really focus on that rotation. And rest. Rest. Okay. Whew. Can you repeat that on 
my left side.
whatever we work our core as a golfer, like in particular, it's really, really important that we've got a nice flexible back. So we're gonna stretch our lower back now. So we're gonna go into what I call a sphinx stretch. So I'll start my timer. We're gonna push up through our hands, keep our hips pushed into the ground, and feel that nice stretch on our lower back. Keep facing forward. You really, really feel that. If not, you need to really push your hips into the ground even more. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. We're now going to push our bum back and stretch our hands out. And let's keep that held. stretches so if you enjoyed it please let me know I'm only gonna know if you either like this video or leave a comment down below um, and yeah if you know any golf
golfers, I'm sure you do, it would mean the world to me if you could share this with them. You know, spread the love and hopefully it won't be too long before we are back Whew. playing the greatest game in the world. Thank you so much for watching.